Where is this? It's a Gopi coin. So, Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. 
यही से बर्तन सब जाते थे यहीं पर कृष्णा और नंद बाबा जी पास में यहीं पर कहीं थे क्योंकि बारह बनों में जहां जहां विचरण करते थे अपनी गायों को लेकर के सब को लेकर के और विचरण करते थे खास कोई गोकुल कभी गोकुल में और कभी छठी करा में और फिर वहां से फिर कामे बन में माठ और बीच में दीग में दीर्घपुर में इस तरह से होते हुए फिर वो नंद गांव में पहुंच जाते जब जब खास खत्म हो जाती तब ग्रेजिंग एंड एंड नो ग्रास एंड सम प्रॉब्लम्स यूज्ड टू कम देयर अगेन विद देयर होल विलेज विद देयर ऑल कॉर्ड गुलाब कॉर्ड ऑल काउ ऑल कॉर्ड ऑल गोकुल नंदगांव में भी एक गोकुल है यहाँ पर भी एक गोकुल है इस तरह से शेरगढ़ जो आजकल है खेलन बन वो भी एक गोकुल है जब जब जहाँ जाते थे तो यहाँ पर उनके पात्र बनते थे मिट्टी के और यहाँ पर गोचारण करते थे इसलिए यहाँ पर पास ही में बलदेव जी का मंदिर है यहाँ पर बलदेव जी कृष्ण छोटे भैया को लेकर के गोचारण करते थे ऐसा कोई गांव नहीं है जिसके जो कृष्ण की लीला स्थली नहीं है और उन्हीं के ऊपर में उन गांव का नाम है इसलिए आज हम यहाँ पर आए हुए हैं और यहाँ करने यहाँ के बाद में हम लोग फिर मथुरा में चले जाएंगे और फिर कल दूसरे दूसरे बन में जाएंगे आप लोग बहुत थक गए हैं यहाँ के लोग कुछ हरी कथा सुनना चाहते हैं और आज आप लोगों का आतिथ्य करेंगे टुडे दिलजस ऑफ मार्टन दे आर वेरी काइंड दे हैव मैनेज टू गिव प्रसादम टू ऑल आई थिंक दैट देर इज प्लेस ऑफ स्कैसिटी ऑफ प्लेस टू सी बट एनी हाउ यू विल मैनेज दे मेक सम टेंट हियर एंड दे थॉट दैट दे विल कम अर्ली बट We are so late, so they could not make a tent here. Sir Prasad, if you are ready, then Ban Maharaj, see, Mithya Maharaj, and put a log on it. Put a log on it quickly. And put it on it. How many people will come? How many people will come? Okay, now put it on it. Now put it on it. Now one. अभी एक बात और करना चाहता हूँ यहाँ पर आपने एक नंगा बाबा जी को देखा होगा साधु बड़े दिले आदमी है बट ही सेवर ऑफ काउस प्रोटेक्टर ऑफ काउस सो मेनी काउस देर गोइंग टू कलकटा एंड बॉम्बे और बट दिस बाबा इज वेरी बोल्ड एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग सब विलेजर्स कुछ लोगों को लेकर के और उनको रोक दिया जो छोटे छोटे बच्चे छोटे छोटे बछड़े अच्छे अच्छे बैल अच्छे अच्छे ये सब चीज जो कटने के लिए जा रही थी उनको उन्होंने बचाया और यहाँ पर एक गौशाला बनाया है और गौशाले में गायों को रखा है बहुत से लोग वहाँ से गाय भी ले जाते हैं जिसको जरूरत हो कि अपना पालते हैं तो इस तरह से अभी कुछ दिन पहले ही यहाँ कुछ बछड़े 40-50 या 100 आए और कटने जा रहे थे तो वहाँ को गांव वालों ने रोक दिया बाबा ने भी रोकवा दिया और फिर उनका प्राण बच गया तो फिर उन्होंने इधर उधर दे दिया जो बात पालन करने वाले हैं गाय जो दुधारु हैं उनको घरों घर में दे दिया या अपने पास में रखे हैं चार सौ पाँच सौ गाय यहाँ दी है तो बाबा हमसे कह रहे थे जैसे आप हमारी कुछ सहायता कीजिए मैंने कहा जी हम जरूर आपकी सहायता करें कृष्ण जी गौवे चराते थे रक्षा करते थे किस तो रक्षा करने के लिए हृदय में दया कहाँ से आएगी यदि ये लोग भगवत का भजन कर करें 
भगवान का भजन ये लोग करें हरि नाम करें इन लोगों में भी शक्ति आएगी ग्राम वालों में भी शक्ति आएगी और तब वायु की रक्षा हो सकेगी कलयुग में हरि नाम छोड़ करके और कोई गति नहीं है हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम बलम कलम नाश देव नाश देव नाश देव गति रखना हम लोग गाय की रक्षा करना चाहते हैं किंतु गाय किस लिए रक्षा करें जरूरत क्या है गाय की रक्षा करने ये भी देखना है यदि हम गाय रक्षा करते हैं और बूढ़ी हो जाती है फिर कसाइयों को हम वो बेच देते हैं तो तब फिर रक्षा क्या हुआ पहले वो गाय मर जाती थी अपने स्थान पर अपने मृत्यु से तो वो वहीं पर रह जाती थी आजकल हम देखते हैं विदेशों में हॉलैंड में एक एक उनके जो बातों में जवाब देती है महाराज वो भी बात भी ठीक होंगी आपकी प्रभु सॉरी नो 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 थ्रो नो 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 Saraswati Mata in Mathura This uh, your old man buying his fruits from this shop. Yeah, my Toby, how? See you, Kabu, collect it for me. He wants to, he wants to be in there. Take you to America, okay? My one girl. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. See the car. Go, Mata. Go, Mata. So, yeah. No? Okay.
even he was showing this powerful preaching. Um, it's explained, Shul Gurdjieff has explained in biography that at the time of the passing away of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada, that Param Gurdjieff, he was, after performing the um, ceremony, that he was so overcome with separation that he actually, he fainted. And taking some time upon being brought back to consciousness, then the disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada, they were discussing um, what would be the next course of action. And even they were discussing performing from Shraddha ceremony, but according to the Smarta tradition. And at that time, Srila Bhakti Pagyan Keshavaraj, very boldly, he explained that how one could have so little faith to want to perform Shraddha ceremony for such an exalted pure devotee, that such ceremonies they meant um, for ordinary people who thinking that they have achieved maybe some kind of ghostly body, then such ceremonies are performed for them. And he spoke so powerfully that those who were um, thinking that they would do such a ceremony, then he changed the whole tide and unanimously they followed step for step um, the process as he himself he presented. Also, it's been explained how in his preaching that he would preach um, exhaustively, sometimes during the course of two months, preaching every evening to large numbers of um, crowds without any, any cessation, without any tiring. But though it's been explained how he was preaching so powerfully and boldly, at the same time, we see that he was soft like the lotus. That his compassion was so embracing that whoever would come into his mouth, that they would be overwhelmed with the love. And though he was a lion-like preacher, but how he actually won people was by his love and compassion. Even Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami, our Srila Prabhupada, um, I do not remember exactly the words, but in recalling how he would go to the Zodiamat when he was in his Grihasa Ashram, he recall how Shilapashi Pragan Keshavaraj, we know Bihari, I forget the term, a very affectionate term he would use for him, how he would take care of him in a very um, paternal, um, elderly, brotherly way. And he was always recollecting um, how he was really nourished. Uh, by the association of Srila Bhakti Pagyan Keshavaraj. And we see that the same mood that he, has, that he himself, he imbibed, that this is carrying through his um, disciples, his children, and his grandchildren. But we're hearing these last few days that though all these qualities, they're there within him, and they've been there in him from the very his very appearance, because he's a transcendental personality. For a transcendental personality, then from the very appearance, all the transcendental qualities are there. But what has been highlighted is his Guru Nishta and his Guru Seva. It is stated, Nayam Atma Prabha Tanena Labyo Namedaya Nabut Bhavana Shutena that one cannot receive mercy of the Lord or the Lord's intimate associates by um, so much um, this discussion on philosophy, pravata, nayam atma pravata nena labyana medaya, by um, by one's mind, by intelligence, or so many other methods. But it's explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Nahami jam prajati byam tapasho pashame nava tu se yam sabhabhutatma guru susu sayayata. That one who renders very, very um, powerful, intimate service at the Lotus Feet of Guru Day, that this is the means um, by which one can achieve success. So we see that though Srila Bhakti Pagan Keshavaraj, he had all qualities to the utmost degree, but what was shining was his Guru Seva, his Guru Nishta. And he's shown us that even when we hear the qualities, of Srila Bhakti Pagan Keshavaraj, 
And even within our Assembly of Vice Numbers, we see their um, supremely um, great qualities that they manifest. But we have some hope. Because when I see all these qualities, I know I have no hope for thousands and thousands of blacks. But despite all these qualifications that may be there, but if we can hold on to only one thing, and that is Guru Seva, that we serve the lotus feet of Guru Dev and Vaishnavas, and make this our only possession, then there is so much hope. So Srila Bhakti Pagyan Keshavarma, he is, by his own example, he has shown this to us, and he has given us the path, he's shown us the path, huh? how we can be happy, how we can be successful in our spiritual life. That it does not depend on any type of um, qualification of knowledge, um, erudition, etc. But just absorbing oneself in only one thing, how to serve the Lotus Feet of Guru Dev, how to serve the, the Guru Pankara, and how to serve Vaishnavas. And because Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesavaran, he is an eternal associate of the Lord. He's an eternal, eternal associate of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur, that his Guru Seva, it was going on not only um, during the time of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada, but after um, this one um, pastime that took place during the time of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada, that there was Nandri Parikram. And the devotees, they assembled at a um, place of Pradamaya. And because Srila Prabhupada had been preaching so strongly um, of who is Vaishnava, and the fact that because one is born in the hereditary line of Brahmanas, of Goswamis, that it does not necessarily qualify them. And he was speaking in such an irrefutable way that many personalities, they became very disturbed, fearful. Uh, and they, at all costs, they plotted how they would stop the preaching of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada. So they conspired that they would um, do the most heinous activity of trying to take his life. So when the devotees were assembled during the time of Parikram and Harikata was going on, then they started to um, throw um, all types of um, vicious articles, bottles, etc. And you can think that if your life is in danger, then the instant reaction is that you'll see how you will protect yourself. Instantly, you'll not think it is just part of the atma, that you self preservation. But Param Gude, Shulabhati Pagyan Kesha Maharaj, his heart was so much one with um, Srila Prabhupada that he was not thinking of his own self preservation but he was thinking of his service to Gurudev. And immediately, taking the situation in hand, he took Srila Prabhupada, took him into um, somebody's house or room, and then had him change into his clothes. He took control of the situation, though he's disciple of Gurudev. But he's taking the situation, and he's serving Gurudev in, in a way that he's having him do this and do that. And then protecting Gurudev, nurturing, taking care of Gurudev in this way. He sent his um, Gurudev in his um, white clothes, and then he took him to sannyas attire, then he went out. So in this way, he took his own life in his hands without even thinking. At least we might, first of all, thinking about our own self-preservation, then we might, uh, or we should, we should think uh, of Gurudev. But instantaneously, uh, he took his own life in his hands like this, showing this strong, strong, um, intimate type of Guru Seva. And this type of Guru Seva, it carried on, and it is carrying on even today. That we see that in serving the family of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, the Saraswati family, that in recent times, then there has been some upheaval, and um, there has been some discrepancies and loss of faith. So the duty of the Acharya is that they will protect uh, the Sampradaya. They will protect the line. So we see that Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Maharaj, even today, he is rendering so much Guru Seva through his limbs, like Om Vishnu Padasta Thru Sata Shishman, Srila Bhakti Maharaj. And so many sannyasis, 
Our grandfathers are still in Raimant, and disciples are still in Raimant. That because of their surrender to Gurudev, uh, their surrender to Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj, then Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj is still acting today, right now, through his limbs. Not that he's not present, but he is present and he's acting in so many different ways. So, I am slowly, slowly starting to um, get some appreciation how we are so much indebted to Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj how we have relationship, or myself, how I have relationship with Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj. Because four years ago, I did not know anything, practically speaking, about Srila Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Maharaj. But out of his mercy, now he's coming, he's always been here, but now I'm realizing how he is um, serving his guru in such a super excellent way, and actually how he is saving the world. That his preaching is such, that it is not only going on in Bengal or India, but it's going on throughout the world. And though so many people, they may become, um, they may become disturbed by the preaching of Srila Bhakti Pugyan Kesha Maharaj. But actually this is showing his strength and his power. Just as when he was physically on the planet, I heard that um, Srila Bhude, Srila Maharaj, that often you would have to go to court uh, to, um, because Srila Bhakti Pugyan Kesha Maharaj, he was such a powerful preacher that so many people were often um, making filing court cases against him. And Gurudev would have to go to court to um, deal with these issues. So the nature of a powerful preacher is that there will always be controversy which is surrounding. And this is going on today. So I do not want to take time because there are so many um, very qualified speakers and also, obviously, Srila Gurudev. But on this day, I will just um, beg mercy of Param Gurudev, Srila Gurudev, sannyasis, assembled venerable sannyasis, on all Vaishnavas, that please um, be merciful to me and give me the opportunity that I can get even just a semblance of a semblance of a semblance of a semblance, a thousand times, of the type of Guru Seva and Guru Nishta that Param Gurudev has had for Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada. If I can get this in thousands of lives, then I know that my existence is somewhat, is actually very successful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He is expert in all established truths. He has great in bhakti. And he, he knows all the established truths. I want that he should speak on importance of parikrama that we are doing. What is gained from doing parikrama? and how our parikrama is going. If anything wrong, okay, this should point out that we can make some reform. And if it is good or comprehensive, oh, he should tell what is the importance of this parikrama and how our parikrama is going. He is from Australia. He is the disciple of Siddha. Param Kutrapati, Tanida, Pravishtong, Vishnu Pashish Mandhakti, Arakshak, Siddhar Maharaj. And also from what? First. Oh, first from Swami Maharaj. And then second is from Param Kutrapati, Siddha. Let me first offer my humble obeisances to Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, my very humble and little Srila Bhakti Ramsha Shira Maharaj, and to Srila Gurudai and all these symbols of God. Now I'm totally, totally embarrassed. 
question that way. But first, I heard a little bit about the glories of Shiva Keshu Maharaj, by my Guru Maharaj, in Navadi Dham. Oh, have you heard? I heard a little bit from Master oh, so Dadi okay. about the glories of Parikram on totally unqualified. As a very inexperienced devotee, I had the good fortune of hearing my Guru Maharaj talk about the glories of the little Guru Vishnu Bhai, to the case of Goswami Maharaj. And when he spoke about him, he spoke about him with great affection. And a few little things that I have heard, Shiva Gurudev has covered them, and the other devotees, I know when they speak about those glories, they speak about them in ever fresh and new ways. And I find it very charming to hear it. I heard about when he was sitting under the tree with his feet crossed, and Guru Maharaj was narrating that pastime with so much affection and it captured me. And also the bottle throwing incident I heard from his lotus lips as well. And quietly I slipped down to Deva Nandagodya right after that and paid my obeisances. So I'm thinking that I also, as well as so many devotees, have a connection with Srila Bhakti Pragya Kesha Goswami Maharaj. And the more I hear in this divine assembly, I see that that connection is rising in my heart. So who he is, I don't know. But more and more, by the grace of Srila Gurudev, it is coming. And I also read this biography of the pastimes of Srila Srila Kesha Goswami. And I told Gurudev that I had one complaint about that book only and that it left me with a very empty feeling in my heart. And that empty feeling was that I missed out on being able to pay my Dandavat Pranams to such a great personality. So, the sun may set in one way, but it is rising simultaneously beyond our vision. And although it is his Turuba Mahamahasa, I feel that really, it may be separation for some, but he is rising in the lives of so many devotees now. And his glories are being proclaimed. And through Srila Gurudev and all the senior Vaishnavas, we're getting to know something of him. And it is like the rising of the sun in our heart, that he hasn't disappeared from this world at all. As Srila Thakur Bhakti Vinod says, I think maybe on the Samadhi of Haridas Thakur, he reasons ill to say that Vaishnavas die when they are still living in sound. The Vaishnavas die to live, and while living, they spread the holy name around. So this gives us so much hope. What is this die to live? Well, they die to live. My Guru Maharaj talked so much about this die to live, that these great personalities, they die to live. They wholesale cast themselves forward into the fire, this great fire of sacrifice, the great fire of sacrifice to give pleasure to their lordships and their Gurudev. And while living in this spirit, they spread the holy name around, and very fallen and decrepit creatures like myself get the benefit in this way of how they live their lives. So, now I'm feeling, I hear so much talk about being bold and strong devotee and I hear so much talk about being firmly fixed in the tattvas and the siddhantas and how Shiva Kesha Maharaj is like a great lion. Well, I want to live where I can hear the sound of the lion roar and I think that's why my Guru Dev has sent me to this life because when the lion roars, even weak little animals that are somewhat innocent. All the other animals that terrorize us, all so many misunderstandings and other seductors that plague the earth, they run for their life. So, yeah, I want to live where the lion roars, so I come here to this place. But as far as the glories of Parikamara,
tomorrow in very morning. You should be ready for uh, Ravan. First we will go to Ravan. First we may go to Lau Havan. In the way, first we come to Lau do we do pranam to so, low woman where Krishna killed the Jankasu low Jankha. And after that, we will go to Rahul where Srimati Radhika took us in the palace of Vishwam Maharaj. There, very natural scenery there. Jamna was going there, very near to Goku. Krish took birth in Goku and Radhika to Rahul. And from Rahul, he go to Brahmandi heart. And from there we will do pranam to uh, Tauji. And there we will uh, see that how Krishna was naughty, taking some earth in his mouth and why are complaining to Mother, Mother Jasoda, Mother Jasoda? And he telling that I have not taken up. And Jasoda opened his mouth or by force of the song. Oh, not only Brahmanda or lakhs and lakhs Brahmans were there. All units were there. If it was all Vrindavan and Yatuna, Mother and all were inside the mouth of Krishna. Even Krishna was in the mouth of his mouth. Um, very miracle. And there are so many stories, past times of Krishna there. And after that we will come to Mahavan. Yogamaya, the birthplace of Krishna and Yogamaya there. Or the birthplace of Pandey Prabhu. 84 pinos of the Nanda Bhavan and some good group and so many things. The Bhajan Kuti of Sanatana Goswami. So many things we will see there. And then we will come to a place near Gokul in a good garden where Mark Shah will oh, wait for you. Mother Jasoda is sitting there and all the gopis with Mother Jasoda are cooking there. All from now they are cooking there. <laughs> and there we will take Mandana in the midday. And from there or directly from Mathura we will go to Vrindavan. Not waiting here, stopping here. So we should be trying to take our whole luggage with us. In buses and then keep it in bus and travel free and then we want that we should reach there in daytime that we have will have enough time to keep our London everywhere in and then in evening six or yes you can attend classes. We have program like this. So, in morning, you should be ready with your luggage and, and you should give your luggage then, and all the body should, male the body should help ladies also or brahmachari and western devotees brahmachari and all they should help in this. Amlokya Brahm Kal Amlok काल के हमरा एक अनेक चीजें शकाल बेला प्रस्तुत हुए 
चिंतन करें पास सब सामान संगे थे रान्ना टाना डिपार्टमेंट जिस गुली प्रेमानंद प्रभु नाथ बृंदावन पाठिए दिले दिखे मृतंग कलकाल इत्यादि प्रयोजन फिर not better not to take bath there because water is now contaminated so wahan se brahmand ghat ke ke amra nand tum maharaj hone the gokle the jabo o khane the amra je khane jo sudha devi krishna em jog maya ke prashna kare chilen she khane jabo श्रीमती चले जाबन दिन दिन बृंदावन जाब पहुंचब जगह असुविधा कृष्ण <laughs> I told a story of Krishna. Krishna, act to follow me, che. Actually, chale the doll ni hai. Maafat chori tayari kare. 
एक समय कृष्ण सब सखागन के लिए माफ चोरी करते किए थे वो भी अंधकार थे कृष्ण के घर पे क्लिक कर वो छिप गई और खुला घर छोड़ दिया कहीं का फांट वहां से दिख रहा है आज कोई नहीं है कृष्ण ने देखा कि आज तो हम आसानी से चोरी कर लेंगे और वो भी सुजोग देख रही थी जब हम कृष्ण भीतर में गए और सभी में मक्खन चुराने लगे गोपी ने आकर के मैया ने उनका हाथ पकड़ लिया और पकड़ करके उन्हें अच्छी तरह से पकड़ करके हाँ और जसोदा मैया के पास में उसी समय में ले जाने लगी बलपूर्वा उठा लिया गोदी में और मुख ढक दिया और कृष्ण आज बहुत मचलते रहे रोते रहे रे छटपट करते रहे और छोड़ाने की कोशिश भी वो की किंतु कृष्ण को मैया ने छोड़ा नहीं पकड़ करके मैया मैया देखो आज सवेरे भोर में अंधकार में अंधकार थे तो मार छेली की बहुत चोरी करते हमारे पार्टी के लिए सुधा मा सभी मंथन कर से खाने जोरे जोरे बोले जो सुधा माया निकट मिलेगा जो सुधा मान ली आज के की समाचार आज तुम्हार छेले हमारे बाड़ी से चोरी करते गए अमिता के हाथ की हाथे नाते धरे खेले जो सदा मैं कई हमारे तो घुमा कथा कृष्ण बोल देखो मान प्रतिदिन ये रकम करे चोरी करते जाए ना जबरदस्ती हमारे माथा थे कलम के टीका एरा लगाए हम चोरी करे ना एरी छेले एदे छेले सब करे और हम देखो एखने सुइया छी और हमार ऊपर लाल छल लगा हम आज ठीक है जरूर आ चोरी करते जाओ तखन ओ गोपी देख ले जे इतना तो हमारे छेले तब हम अत्यंत लज्जित हो आ कृष्ण बोले जैसे इरा ए लोग प्रतिदिन हमारे प्रति अंधाय करे आ बोले जैसे चोरी करे राम रामचंद्र हरे कृष्ण जरा सिद्ध धर्म सलते आछन He starts with his friends entering into different houses and steal butter. <coughs> Today, one Gopi has made a very big plan. She has opened her house wide open for Krishna to invite and let him steal without any uh, problem and uh, 
difficulty. She has kept her butter very. Uh, he has kept her uh, door open, and she has uh, hidden herself somewhere, and she just wanted to catch Krishna. Krishna entered into her house with her with his friends. And he said, well, today is very uh, uh, good opportunity to steal. There is no one to check. Wide open doors. And he enters into the house and he starts eating butter. And at that time, Gopi comes and he catches Krishna red-handed. When she catches Krishna red-handed, and uh, uh, Krishna was very much uh, scared what to do, then she catches his hand firmly and says, today I will take you to Yashoda Maya and will tell her that you always say that my son does not do anything wrong and today I have caught her, him red-handed. She just give her clothes on Krishna and, and put him in, his, in her lap and she was taking Krishna to Yashoda's house. Oh Yashoda, oh Yashoda, see, she is your, how not is your son and when Yashoda says, why are you crying so early today in the morning? Look, you are sun so much in the morning, though there is no light even, she has come to my house to steal butter. My son? And then where is my son? Here is your son. And he, <coughs> he brought forward Krishna from her lap to Yashoda Ma. But very strange. It's very strange. He was not Krishna. Her own son was there and she caught her own son and her own son was standing there. My son Krishna? Oh, oh my friend you see, it is your friend, it is your son, not my son Krishna. Meanwhile Krishna, just as if he caught up from his bed and crushing his eyes, Oh mother, oh mother, what happened? Then Yashoda said, look, she is saying that you entered in her house and you are stealing mother. Oh mother, I was sleeping. How can go early, so early to her house? Look, they are always making false allegation on me. And you should understand. These are the past times. This of Krishna. Gaur Pramanande. Hare Krishna. Jara Dharma Salate Asen. This is the place of Vishwanubhava. Vishwanubhava. Tini ekhane pakitin jamuna teshnan korsak ekhane jamuna chilo. Or jamuna was here at the time of Krishna. Oh, very near. And in jamuna, oh, lotus flowers having thousands and thousands of petals. Big, big. 
जमुना यही खाने से प्रवाहित छिलो और और मध्य विश्वानु महाराज प्रतिदिन एकांत तक स्नान करते जेते नहीं खाने दिव्य बालिका उखाने ते पड़े आचे ऐ कमल फूले रूपरे ते और कौनों तनी से अंगूठा निजे पायर और हाथे चुस्चे और कौनों कांचेर कौनों हास्चे विश्वानु आवाशा a very beautiful very beautiful baby was there as if she has come from home today just now and he became very happy very beautiful she was crying some uh, sometimes and sometimes oh playing with his her force here and there Vishwabhanu Baba at once took her in his, her life, in his life. Vishwabhanu Vishwabha Baba ne unko godi mein le liya. Socha ji, humara ek putra hai bada. Ke tu ladki nahi hai. Isse us ladki ko utha liya aur aaye. Aur apni patni Kritika Devi ki godi mein baitha diya. Vishwabhanu Baba became very happy. And he took that newly birth baby oh, in his lap and he came very happy in his house and gave in the lap of his wife Kritika Devi. And now they began to support and nourish like their own child, daughter. And thus she was brought up here. एकाने श्रीमती राधिकार पाल पोषण कर चुके हैं। जबकि तीन दो बसर, अढ़ाई बसरे छोले, तो अपन एकांत के राल चले जाएं, छठी करा के पास में, छठी करा निकटे चले जाएं, आकृष्णों चले जाएं छठी करा। And rest we will do go there and explain. Gaur Pramana.
On the rooftop at Radharani's house.
So I, I glorify that person. Bravo, sadhu, sadhu. You're following the right path in your spiritual life. Jaya, jaya, radha, nal. Renda, vana, jaya, radha, nal. All glories to Shimati Radhika and all glories to Madhav Vrindavan. Shimati Radhika, she is the treasure of all of Krishna's pastimes. Krishna Sukha Vilasana Nidhi. Without Shimati Radhika, then Krishna, he cannot be happy. He cannot find any happiness or satisfaction. Shantakoti, Gopi, Madhavaman, Rakita, Nayo, Koridatan. Millions and millions of Gopi can say of Krishna. If the Shinati Radharani is not there, his heart is restless, agitated. You can't find any peace or satisfaction. So, Narada Thakur is saying that, Hey no Radha Guna Gan, Nashami no Mora Gan, Manjita Kuru Mora Vithi. If anyone has never heard the qualities and the glorification of Shinati Radharani, then, oh, they are so unlucky. If the glories of Radha is not into their ears, then they've been cheated by providence. They are so unfortunate. Tarabhakta Sangasana Rasa Dila Premakata. If someone will associate with the devotees of Shimati Radharani and hear Rasa Dila Premakata, the pastimes of Rasa Dila in Vrindavan, then what will be the result? Very easily they will attain the Krishna prayer. If anyone is averse to this thing, if someone, they think, oh, we should not hear the glories of Radharani. If someone thinks, we should not hear Ras Lila Kata, oh, then they will never attain perfection. If anyone being very simple and having the association of bona fide Guru and Vaishnavas and has honor, for the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, or they are qualified. Only having honor and faith. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Shimata Radharani is Parashakti, his own Nadini Shakti, pleasure potency. Having faith in this thing and in the power of Hari Kata, or anyone can hear this Kata of Rasalila. And by doing so, all rich rogue, all lustful anatta will quickly go away. There is no other remedy, there is no other solution. Those who avoid this process and are averse to hearing the sweet guitar of Radha and Krishna, they will never attain perfection. So Nathan Das Thakur, he says, I don't want to hear that person's name. I don't, if someone is averse to hearing the pastimes of Radha Krishna, or to speak of associate with them, or to speak of see them, I don't even want to hear their name. He has some nishta in this fact. So then he's saying, if someone so why are we chanting Krishna Krishna? Why? To give pleasure to Shimati Radharani. And why are we chanting Radhe Radhe? Or to give pleasure to Krishna. <laughs> so if one will chant the name of Radharani, easily Krishna will be attracted. And if one will chant the name of Krishna, it's very easily. What this will win the heart of Shimati Radharani. And finally, Narakan Nastakur in this sun. Now I have described in briefly, what is the uh, glory of Shimati Radharani, the dust of Radharani's lotus feet, of her dance, of her Harikata, and of associating with her devotees. Please take this advice into the core of your hearts. And if you don't accept this advice, oh, then anything that you do, anything you say, and anything that you hear will only be a cause of extreme distress. हम लोग वैष्णव काशीला महाराज जी का अनुगत करते परिक्रमा करते करते जहाँ प्रोग्राम से जुड़े हैं ये जगह का नाम रावल है कल को भेजे हरि कथा सुहागा कल को भेजो में श्रीमती राधा करी जब हम बरसाना जाएंगे वहाँ पर भी महाराज का अनुगत में जब हम भानुकोर जाएंगे 
इस समय विश्वान महाराज श्री ईश्वर जी को स्नान करते जब गए कभी वहां भी प्राप्त किए थे कभी श्रीमती राधा रानी श्री कृतिका सुंदर की गर्भ से भी प्रकट होती है कभी कभी कहते बाई से कभी कभी अंडा से तरह तरह का पुराण में राधा जी की जो प्राकृत विभिन्न रूप में देखने को मिलता है श्री लुभ गोस्वामी हुए ललित माधव नाटक में श्रीमती राधा जी कैसे प्रकट हुई वहां पर उन्होंने कुछ दर्शाया है कहते किसी समय हमारे जो हिमालय पर्वत उनका जो कन्या वो पार्वती है पार्वती का जो पति हुए शंकर जी इसलिए हिमालय पर्वत का जो संपर्क हमारे शंकर जी के साथ में उनका दामाद हुए इसलिए हिमालय पर्वत हर समय वो हर पर्वत के पास में जा करके अपना बड़ाई और अपना बहावा प्रकाश करते थे जानते हो मेरे दामाद कौन है कहते कौन है कहते मेरे जो दामाद है वो जोगी जोगी महाजोगी है वे सर्व सचिमान और वे हर तरह का बर देने में समर्थ है और वे बड़ा भोले बाबा है वे अधोर दानी है हर समय हर पर्वत के पास में जा करके अपना बड़ाई को वाखन करते थे कभी जब वे विंध्याचल पर्वत के पास में गए वहां पर भी अपना बड़ाई किए विंध्याचल देखा ये हज में बड़ाई करता रहता है मेरा दामाद को जानते हो मेरा दामाद कौन है कौन है तो बड़ा अभिमान है क्या मुझे भी एक जगह दामाद चाहिए जो कि हर तरह से शंकर से जो बल में और हर तरह का गुण में जो सर्वश्रेष्ठ हो इसलिए उन्होंने ब्रह्मा जी को उन्होंने आराधना की ब्रह्मा जी जब संतुष्ट हुए ब्रह्मा जी के पास उन्होंने कहा मुझे ऐसे के दामाद चाहिए हर गुण से जैसे संकट जिसे बड़े हो दामाद तभी होता है जब घर में बेटी हो इसको पहले दामाद कहा से होगा इसलिए संकट जी से हर गुण से जो रूप गुण ऐश्वर्य बल में केवल कृष्ण ही बड़े हैं इसलिए जब तक श्री किशोर की उनको बेटी नहीं हो तब तक कृष्ण कैसे उनको दामाद बन सकते हैं इसलिए उन्होंने ब्रह्मा जी से जब बर प्रार्थना की तो ब्रह्मा जी दरखास्त बोले लेकिन श्री राधा रानी तो नित्य पुत्री से ये कृतिका सुंदर की जैसे लेकिन ब्रह्मा जी तो बर दे दिए बर देने पर जैसे जो माया तो द्वारा हमारे कीर्ति का सुंदरी का गर्भ से श्रीमती राधा जी को और हमारे जो चंद्र चंद्रवाहन उनको पति का गर्भ से श्री चंद्रावली को जो माया ने आकर्षण करके विंध्याचल पत्नी की गर्भ में उन्होंने स्थापन की जथा समय पर उनको दो बेटी हुई श्री राधा रानी और चंद्रावली इधर क्या हुआ जब कंसों को पता चला कृष्ण कहीं जन्म ले लिया जोग माया ने आवास में जब उनको पछाड़ने के लिए कंस से गए जोग माया ऊपर जाकर तो बोल दिया तू तो मुझे क्या मारोगे तेरे को जो मारने वाले वो तो कहीं प्रकट हो गए कंस जी तो बड़ा सीता लगे तो उन्होंने पुतना को भेजी पुतना ने छह महीना के अंदर में जहां कहीं बच्चे जन्म हुए पुतना जिंदा जिंदा उनको खून को भी डाल दी उनको खत्म कर रही जिंदा चलने सुना उतना ऐसे एक हुई किसी को घर में कोई बच्चा जिंदा ही नहीं रहता है क्या किया जाए बड़े चिंतित तो हो गए देखते देखते ना जाने कैसे उतना घर में प्रवेश करके उनको दो बच्चे को चंद्रावली राधा जी को लेकर के चल पड़े जब विंध्याचल को पता चला विंध्याचल ने उन्होंने कुल प्रेरित उनको बुला करके उन्होंने ऐसे मंत्र पाठ किया ताकि उतना को खत्म कर डाल उतना ने डर मारे बच्चों को फेंक करके अपना जीत जान लेते भागी इसलिए पास में एक चंद्रावली का नर्सरी है और यहाँ पर उन्होंने चंद्रावली को तो उन्होंने वहां छोड़े और किशोर जी को उन्होंने दिल्ली छोड़े इतने में श्री महाराज अभी बता रहे थे इसलिए विश्वान महाराज का केवल एक बेटा है श्री श्री राम है इसलिए उनको एक बेटी की बड़ी इच्छा है क्योंकि घर में बेटी आई ना बोलते घर में लक्ष्मी आई और बेटी कन्यादान महादान है इसलिए उनको इच्छा है मेरे घर में एक बेटी हो जाए अभी विश्वान महाराज लेकिन वो तो कृतिका सुंदरी के गर्भ में श्री किशोर जी आई लेकिन किसी कारण से चली गई 
इसलिए जब विद्वान महाराज यहाँ पर ब्राह्मण मुहूर्त में जमुना पास में बह रही थी जो ये स्नान करने के लिए गए देखा महाराज बता रहे थे कि पीता की मार्ग करिए किशोर जी कैसे कमल फूल को घर में कैसे आ रहे इसलिए जब उन्होंने लाए कृष्ण का सुंदर को दिया और देखो प्रभु जी हमें एक बेटी कृष्ण का सुंदर को ये नहीं लगी ये बेटी दूसरी की है अब कहीं से उन्होंने बेटी को ला करके मुझे दिया इसलिए उनको लगी तो बेटी मेरी है तो बेटी तो उन्हीं की है इसलिए कितने में श्री नारद बाबा देखा स्वयं परम ब्रह्म अनंत गुटि विश्व ब्रह्म लगे सर्व कारण कारण जो कृष्ण चंद्र वो ब्रज में ऑलरेडी वे ब्रज में जन्म हो चुके हैं लेकिन ये तो अकेले नहीं आते हैं तो तो आने का साथ साथ उनको भी नहीं सकती श्री ईश्वर जी जरूर आ गए लेकिन कहा है इसलिए नारद बाबा ब्रज का घर घर में छा करके पूछ रहे हैं आप उस घर में कोई बच्चे हुए हैं सभी अपना अपना बच्चों को दिखा रहे हैं लेकिन वो तो ईश्वर को ढूंढ रही है ढूंढते ढंग से जब यहाँ पर आए रावल में जब यहाँ पर महाराज को बोले आपको घर में कोई संतान नहीं है Lord Shiva is his 
So he was going here and there, boasting everywhere. Once he went to Vidyachal Parvat and there he boasted that I have got in such a eternal uh, and Satyananda son-in-law, Lord Shiva. This gave a little jealousy in the heart of uh, Vidyachal. And he said, when Himachal has got such a son-in-law, uh, Himalaya has got such a son-in-law, why can't I have? And he worshipped Brahma. And he asked Brahma that I want a son-in-law who should be uh, more advanced than uh, son-in-law of Himalaya. Son-in-law of such a glorious that even Shalna of Himalaya to suck my son not only advanced, but uh, uh, he should be such that son-in-law of Himalaya should serve my son-in-law. Yeah, yeah. Son-in-law of Himalaya should serve my... That means Lord Shiva should serve my son-in-law. I should get such a glorious son-in-law. And Brahma said, Tathas, it will happen like this. Now the question comes, how you get, how you become father-in-law? And that you have a daughter. So the first way to become father-in-law is that you should have a daughter. And he must, uh, Vindhyachal did not have a daughter. Now how can it be possible only if he becomes father-in-law of Krishna? And father-in-law of Krishna means to become father of Radhana. But Radhana means daughter of Vishwanu and uh, Kirtika. So what happened that in this past time, Kirtika was having Radharani in her womb. And similarly, what was the name of her? Chandramanu. Chandramanu's wife, she was having Chandravali in her womb. And both were, <coughs> both daughters were taken by Yogamaya from the womb of uh, Kirtika and from the womb of the daughter of Chandramanu to the womb of wife of Vindhyacha. This was the activity of Yogamaya. And when they were born, at that time, Putana was looking for the small children and she was killing those children and eating and drinking their blood. Then she also came to Vindhyacha and she took both daughters with her and she was going to kill them. At that time, Vindhyacha asked his priest to recite some mantra so that Putna should be killed. And when Putna found that they, they are going to kill me, she became very much nervous. And she was going from the, <coughs> the sky. She left all those daughters, both daughters, and she rather few took both daughters. And both daughters came <coughs> by the help of Yogamaya, very, very sliding down on the lotus of Yogamaya. So, one daughter was received by Vishwanu. Ratanam Prabhu was saying that when Vishwanu saw this, this young girl lying on lotus, he became so much emotional. Father-like motion, emotions came in his heart because he is the natural father of this girl. And he just grabbed that girl in, her, in his lap and came to Kirtika and gave this girl to Kirtika. And when Kirtika got, got this girl in her lap, she also naturally found that as if she is mother of this girl. So this way they again came to the, their original place. And uh, this uh, question, how come uh, Radha Radhi was put on the lotus of uh, Yamuna, uh, become very clear. Now, in, in this uh, past time, when Naraji was uh, 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 roaming uh, in Braj, he found that Krishna has already appeared in Gokul. Positively, his potency, Radha Rani, must be also somewhere nearby. And he was looking for Radha Rani, going from place to place, asking people if you just uh, give a birth to a daughter. And when he came to Vrishmanu, he said, you have a child? Yes, I have a child, Vrishmanu said. She now was the elder son of um, Vrishmanu. He said, yes, I have a son. No, 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 I don't want about son. Do you, do, do you have a daughter? 
So Vrishwanu was trying to hide it because he got it from uh, Lotus. He did not want to say it. He said, finally, oh yes, I just recently got it. Where is she? And when Naraji came in front of this small, young daughter, newly born daughter, he recognized no one, she is no one else but Krishna's Aladani potency. And the moment he recognized, now he wanted to talk to her vis a -vis, how to do, then he just made a pretext to Vishwagam and Kritika, please go and bring something for worshipping. And he gave the list of such a long list, for which they were supposed to go to Bazaar and to, to bring those things in it. After some time, they went away. And then Naraji came in front of Radhanari, please don't um, hide yourself and just and manifest your, yourself in front of me. Then Radhanari became Komari and of her natural age of 14, 16 years with her all colleagues and Saki. And then she said, oh, do whatever you want to do quickly. Then again they will come and I will have to uh, wind up my this pastime. Then uh, according to uh, Rasanand Prabhu, he recited Kripakata, Munindra Vandra Vandasi. And when he finished it, then uh, again Vrishman uh, and Kritika came and she became a young girl. And now Narada has become again uh, another, he, uh, he made another role and he started doing blessing this girl by reciting classic mantra. So, he has also said one thing that Shri Jeev Goswami <coughs> has said that unless we take shelter of the dust of lotus feet of Radharani, we cannot really understand who is Shyam. So there was a poet, he was saying that I am totally drenched in the, uh, 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 absorbed in the Shyam run, color of Shyam. He says, then Jeev Goswami says, no one can be absorbed in the color of Shyam unless he takes the shelter of Radharani. So in order to understand Krishna, we have to take shelter of dust of Radharani here. And we have come in, uh, we have to uh, ask our Guru Dev and all Vaishnavas for this. God Prabhupada This is Brahmanda. 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 You're from? You're from? Problem. Oh, I'm from. I'm from America. From America. All these persons? Thank you. 
Hare Krishna Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare This is Brahma Mother, you know, 
you love me so much, you give me so butter and sugar candy, I don't want to share with them. So they are complaining against me. Mataji Sudha asked Dao, have you seen Krishna? He has taken clay in his mouth? Yes, mother. He has taken clay in his mouth. All of we have seen this fact. Mother Jesa told Krishna, Thou never tell lie. You always speak true. So I want to see your mouth. Not only yes, no problem, you can see my mouth. And Mother Jesa by her two fingers, she opened her, his mouth and saw this universal form. So many in the world of Brahmanas inside there, his mouth. His mouth is too small. But inside his mouth, Jasura Mahasra, so many Brahmanas, in the world of Vaikuntas, those of Vrindavan, even Mother Jasura Mahasra, the Krishna inside his mouth, Mother Jasura herself inside his mouth. What is going to be happen? Is it ghost? But I am in dream. What happened? Then he then she rub her eyes, rub her eyes. <coughs> so he came to Nanda Baba again and told Nanda Baba, you may have seen this thing. Then I thought maybe any fictitious years thing, or maybe cause, maybe anything illusion by so many demigods or some maybe something else. Then Nanda Baba invite Sandilla Rishi. He came and instructed Nanda Baba. Immediately arranged the one black cow and bring some cow dung and cow pee So, <laughs> Nanda Baba arranged this thing. Then Sunday has asked to make this fest. So, with cow urine and cow dung, they make fest. And Sunday Lord is now uttering so many mantras to protect Krishna. So by this way, they chant so many mantras and give birth to Krishna with cow dung and cow urine. And Nanda Baba gave so many cows and gold, so many things in donation for this activity. Krishna, as before or later on, especially in Mahabharata, Battle and other, he has shown his universal form to Duryodhana and others. But in the he has some fear. If I show the universal form, so they will give me back again cow dung and cow urine. So Krishna hesitates to show his universal form very easily. So he never saw his universal form in brush only very few times. बोलिए आला गोविंद की कोकला नंद की इस स्थान पर आप लोग आए हैं इस स्थान का नाम है ब्रह्मांड का गोवाल वालों के साथ में गोविंद जी यहाँ खेलने